Hello people, welcome back for a, another video. I'm here a little sooner than I was expecting. Uh, this is my planner. All I did was change and put it in one of my Foxy Fix personal size covers. Everything is the same. Um, I've got all of the same stuff in it, just in a different cover. I was feeling, um, wanting a different change to go with some things that I have. Let's take a look at my documented journey, A5 Honey Journal Folio. I talked about this um, journal in, in the last video that went live. Um, I talked about a lot of planner and journal chit chat. I'll get my, this is my Hobonichi writing board. This is the um, 2015 writing board. Um, and they had like a dark blue and like a pear, lime, apple, green color. So, like I stated in the last video, I started this journal in July 27th of 2017. Well, it is the 8th of January of 2021, and I have finished this journal. I have, I had a few pages to do um, when I filmed that video towards the end of last year. It, it took a while to get up because, you know, I had um, the planner advent and of course I had to get up what's my 2021 planner system going to be and all of that. Um, so I think I had up through here done in that video, like around Christmas. And I, oh, and I, I had talked about like my, my planner setup. I think the word for that is like Ichiban. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, some end of the December journaling. I think this was in here because I talked about the Kit Kats, the washi tape. Um, and I might have had this in there. Yeah, this was in here because I also showed this as well. Um, but I did some journaling and I added a bunch of stickers. Some free printable stickers that I got from Instagram. These are stickers from someone I'm not going to mention who because I don't support them right now. And probably never will again. Um, these are from the same place where I got these cute little coffee ones. Um, so on January 6th, you know, some crazy shenanigans happened. Um, and these are stickers that I had printed out um, that were black and white. Um, and that they're free ones that I found online years ago and I printed them and did nothing with them. I just printed them on a, um, just a, um, a basic sticker paper I got from online labels. Um, and so I decided to get my um, alcohol markers out and color them. And I thought they looked really cute. So I had fun doing that while chaos was going on in the Capitol. And I, I colored these. Um, this is a simple spread. I had printed these. These are um, watercolor florals from Shada Campbell. Um, a couple of months last year, I was a member of her Patreon, and it was to get a few of her tutorials to kind of get better at using a uh, brush pen and to get better at using uh, a watercolor brush. Um, because she had, you know, tutorials that on her YouTube channel and then extra ones on her Patreon. And, and so these were ones that she taught on Patreon. Um, and so I had printed these out on sticker paper and I was going to start journaling and I, I was like, no, I don't want to ruin the aesthetic of this page. It looks very peaceful. And that was what I needed yesterday when I was doing this. I needed some, or two days ago, I needed some peace. 
Um, and then this is the last bit of writing that I did in the journal. And then I had all of these cute little monsters from uh, Little Raven Inc. on Patreon from a while ago. Um, and so I decided to have a fun couple of page of all of her fun little creations. Like, he's one of my favorite ones. <laughs> but all, the, all her little sojourner, or notebook girls, I guess you could call them. There's a notebook, 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 notebook. Yeah. And then these are some others that I had worked on and printed. And then I did a little bit of doodling. And then I wanted to see my mild liners one last time. And then these are my uh, Arteza real brush pens. They're starting to, I've had them for almost two years now, and um, they're starting to, you know, run out of ink, which is understandable. They're just a very thin brush pen. There they are. And then a leaf from the fall. And then we're done. And all of this stuff has been here. So this is the first doodles. <laughs> What's this? I got stuff back here. I've got a Simon and a piece of vellum I printed on. Okay. So this is the first notebook of this type that I have ever completed. I don't even know what the cover looks like anymore because I've had it in... Okay. It's just I didn't do anything to it. It's just your basic breeze notebook. So this is kind of how it looks <laughs> filled up. Um, you can see the spine does have a little bit of curl to it because I've added stuff to it. But I, I like that. I think it looks pretty good. I added a few tabs. I'm normally not a tab person, but I added tabs, you know. Um, but yeah, so that is my first ever completed notebook. I've never even completed a Hobonichi. Um, and so for this being, what, 180-ish pages, 83. Come on, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 188 pages. Um, probably 188. 89, 90, 91, 92, because of the index and stuff. Um, that This is the first notebook I've ever finished. I've finished inserts, no problem. Inserts, you know, usually are about 60 to 80 pages, unless you get like a Tomoe River paper that's got like 100 or more. Um, normally, you know, they're about 60 to 66 pages. Um, so for me to finish an A5 notebook like this, I feel is a um, a major accomplishment because I don't do that. So I have a few things here. Um, let's see. Now in the past, I've used, these are MD A5 inserts. Um, and they're just, you know, your typical three-pack of blank inserts. Um, I've used these for art and stuff. Um, we're not going to go for that. I have here a Midori MD. Let me get the stickers out. You'll see it is a... It says, designed for writer's comfort, MD Notebook A5 Grid. So this is an A5 M Midori MD Notebook with grid. And the Midori MD paper is one of my favorite papers. I've used this notebook in B6 Slim, in B6... Um, goodness gracious, what else? I've used it in other sizes. B6 Slim, um, A5, no, A5, of course, and A6. And even in the past, 
I've taken an A5, this is an A5, that I cut down to standard Midori size. Um, which the next journal I go to is, I want to finish this one. I, I These are the, the two big inserts that I have that I want to finish. This has 152 pages and I'm at 75, at 76. So I've got about, you know, 75 pages or so to use. Um, and so that's what I'm going to tackle next because I want to finish the insert. So then when I have that done, I think I only have one other big book like this and it's a B6. And that I've got issue with because I, I'm not a very big fan of the B6. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go to that next, but it would be nice since I finished my A5. And then it would be nice to finish my A5 narrow, because that's what this is now, an A5 narrow. It's not slim, it's narrow, because um, it's standard Midori size. Um, it would be nice to finish the B6 and then jumping and diving into this next. Um, so what I want to do is, you know, I've never tried this notebook inside of Sorry, you might hear Seamus snoring because it's your pick late at night, early in the morning. I'll let you decide. <laughs> it's early in the morning, actually. The husband's already left for work. So there's in that side. And let's put it in the front as well. And I'm just leaving the, the rice paper on because it actually will make it easier to slide in and out because it's kind of like a... um waxed paper of sorts. And of course, I'm doing this the totally wrong way. It, when you have a folio, don't do it the way I just did it. Oh. Maybe I should take that off. I had trouble getting something in the... Yeah, I'm gonna have to take it off. Burp. I had trouble f sliding stuff in the front pocket, and I think that might be a little bit of the um, glue still up there. Let's try the front side first. Maybe it's just a little narrow. Oh, I think. I can, I can never, something to try, maybe the um, corner is getting caught on the felt. Let's, ooh, that was loud. Let's round the corners. Maybe that will help the cover. Okay. Maybe that'll help. So it, the pointy corners don't get, look at that. <laughs> so if you have a folio that has a um, trouble sliding in, maybe you just need to get a, round, a corner rounder. This is the um, Kodumaru. I think that means like cute cut or something like that. I don't know. Um, ma maru, I thought someone told me meant cute um, or I don't know. Anyways, so if you have a corner rounder, look how easy that slid in. I think sometimes what happens is um, when you're putting in a square pointed corner, it can get caught on. See, look how easily that slid in. And all I did was get my corner rounder out. Note to all of those of you watching. Corner round, corner round. I, I'm not a big fan of the bookmarks, and I think I cut the bookmark out of the other one, but for right now, I'll leave it. Um, I will put this inside here and here. Okay. 
I'm going to fold this and put it in the back. Look at that. This is, I think, about as thin as, it says 176 pages down here. 176. Um, so, yeah. So, it's nice and thin, nice and tiny. And so I've got this ready to go. So, before that, though, I'm going to dive into here and finish. I've got some really fun stickers to use. I've got these ones by Lin, uh, Lin Chia Ning. Uh, yeah. These are her stickers. And um, it's like a sheet of stickers, so you have to like cut them out. She also has a beautiful washi tape. I had some of it, but I bought a sample and I've already used it all. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know, I, I love mushrooms. I love drawing them, I love painting them, I love stickers of them, washi, all of that. I So I have these that I'm going to use. I have some beautiful stickers. Uh, what are those? I've got these beautiful stickers by Brie, some of her, um, like, houseplants, and then some of her cone flowers and, um, sunflowers and, I'm not sure what that is. It might be like a um, orchid or something, maybe a lily. I, I can't tell. They're the, those washi stickers that look so beautiful on paper. Um... So I've got some fun things to journal with. So yeah, that's the thing is I don't know if I want to put these in here or do I put them in, in my, my new notebook. See, there's that washi. Uh, actually, see that? That's that right there. Just uh, slightly altered. So, there we are. I just thought I would, uh, since I have completed a, um, an insert, which is something that I, not an insert, since I completed a, uh, large notebook that, you know, I have never done before in my life, um, until now, um, even as a kid when I had journals and I guess you could say like, you know, diaries, like dear diary, um, you know, Susie's being a butt, I need blah blah, you know, when you're a kid and you write little diaries like that. I've never ever finished one. And so for me, this is a huge, <laughs> a huge completion. So there you go. If you have any questions, you know, please leave a comment down below. I will link, um... Uh, Brie at Documented Journey because those are my cute little notebooks. Unfortunately, I can't link Foxy Fix because they're not making notebooks right now at the moment. But this is a beautiful one that I got from Foxy Fix. Oh, goodness. A year? Year and a half ago? Year and a half ago. I um, won a um, some Instagram thing where they were doing for, you know, you know, who did you find out about our traveler's notebooks through? Well, I've done lots of, as you've seen here, Foxy Fix unboxings. And because I, I had the highest number of people that had said they found out about Foxy through me, I won a gift card. And this was what I chose with that gift card, a beautiful green personal size, um, Traveler's Notebook, and I will have um, next week a plan with me in here, and um, I've got some really interesting thoughts that I've been thinking about personal size TNs, and it's good stuff. Like I said earlier, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, weekend. Be safe. Be kind. Um, I guess, you know, just 
be kind with others and be kind with yourself. That is what is my takeaway from everything that has been happening the last few days is, you know, there just isn't enough kindness in the world amongst all the, the crazy that we have. We, we need kindness. So I'll just leave it at that. Take care. Bye-bye.